Hi everyone, myself and Mehdi and Buzz are back again today and we'd like to start with a little breathing practice. And today the breath we're going to do is called crocodile breath. So put your two hands together like this and as you breathe in, you open your hands up and as you breathe out, you close your hands. So let's practice that. In, out, in, out, in, out. Well done, well done. Did you know that you can always be a best friend to yourself? Today, we're going to be talking about how we can be a good friend to ourselves because it's really important to be a good friend to ourselves. So we're going to begin by reading a little story called Kindness is Contagious, written by Louise Shanaher. The best place to start with kindness is being kind to you, being gentle, being caring in your thoughts and what you do. The best way to start with kindness is being friends with you, accepting who you are and loving yourself too. When we treat ourselves with kindness, it really feels so nice. We become our own best friend. It feels good inside. When we treat ourselves with kindness, we feel brave and strong. We look after ourselves well. Our heart feels full and warm. The next thing to do with kindness is sharing it around with your family and your friends, with the people from your town. Kindness is contagious. It really tends to stick. One little act of kindness can multiply so quick. So why not plant some kindness? First, let self-kindness grow. Fill up your heart with kindness, then let it overflow. Next, start to grow some kindness by being a good friend, by standing up for others or offering your help. Grow some more by sharing, by including others too. Let kindness grow by caring. It feels so nice to do. Grow some more by loving all the people in your life. Show them all your kindness. Watch how they start to shine. As you grow your kindness, notice how you start to smile. Because the best thing about kindness is how it makes you feel inside. Well done. Story about being a good friend, a friend to yourself and a friend to others. So I'd like you to close your eyes for a few moments and we're going to practice being a good friend to ourselves. So place your hand on our, your heart and say to yourself, may I be well. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be happy. May I be safe. Now think of somebody in your family that you could send some kind wishes to. Say, may you be well. May you be happy. May you be safe. And then we'll finish up by saying, wishing everyone in the whole world May everyone in the whole world be happy. May everyone in the whole world be safe. May everyone in the whole world be healthy. And when you're ready, open your eyes. 
So a nice little activity to do to practice being a good friend to yourself is to use a self-kindness flower. So inside you can draw a flower. I have a magnet and in it you can write I am and then on each write on each petal something good about yourself. I am smart, I am kind, I am a good friend, I am creative, I am loved. Because the more kindness and the better a friend you are to yourself, the better of a friend you will be to other people. Because it is important to be a good friend to yourself first. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the story and this video and maybe you'd like to practice some crocodile breathing at home or hot chocolate breathing or belly breathing. Myself and Medi and Boz look forward to seeing you next week. Take care everyone. Bye bye.